Even though WandaVision star Elizabeth Olsen keeps her personal life fairly private, she let one significant detail slip during an interview that gave fans a major spoiler about her relationship with Robbie Arnett. Keep watching for all the juicy details about this celebrity pair. According to E! News, Elizabeth Olsen first met Robbie Arnett in February 2017, while on a trip to Mexico. It seems that ever since their first encounter, the couple has been going strong. Just one month later, an insider told E! News that the relationship had moved pretty fast. The source revealed, They are in an exclusive relationship, and Lizzie is excited about him. It's very new, though, but they seem to like each other a lot already. Olsen and Arnett waited a bit before making their new relationship official and taking it public. Their first public outing was in March of 2017, when Olsen was spotted with her arm in Arnett's while they strolled through New York looking very happy and fashionable, according to E! News. They didn't appear on the red carpet as an item, however, until September. That was the month that Olsen and Arnett finally appeared together at the Gershwin Emmy party. According to the Daily Mail, the two were seen arm in arm looking very much in love at the party and fans were excited to see this pair finally feeling comfortable heading out to events as a couple. Robbie Arnett is one-fourth of the indie pop band Milo Green. And as it turns out, Olsen is a pretty big fan of his music. In an interview with Sway in the Morning in August 2017, she gave his band a shout-out. When asked about her favorite music, she proudly said, My boyfriend's in a cool band called Milo Green. Did you just shamelessly oh. plug your boyfriend's yes, band? Yes, I did, because I really like him. <laughs> <laughs> Olsen explained that she'd initially started to like Arnett after hearing his band's music. She even joked that she was a groupie for the band. Sway then played some of Milo Green's music as Olsen looked increasingly embarrassed, she confessed. I'm seriously sweating. He's going to be so embarrassed. No, no, no. Oh, no, he's actually going to be like, thank you right. so much. <laughs> As Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett's relationship became more serious, they began taking lavish trips together. Olsen posted several images to her now-deleted Instagram account of the time the two spent in Italy. In one picture, the couple could be seen grinning during a festival in Siena. Another set of photos saw the two at a romantic Italian dinner party. According to Metro, the pair's Italian escapade took place in the summer of 2018. At the time, Olsen also posted a collage of adorable, intimate Polaroids from the trip, which she captioned with the couple emoji. The photos showed the two of them hanging out in a luxurious pool surrounded by palm trees. But the couple didn't spend the entire trip on their own. They also attended a weekend celebration hosted by designer Rosetta Getty in Tuscany. Then, in 2019, Olsen and Arnett took another trip, this time to Mallorca in Spain. According to the Daily Mail, the pair was also spotted on a private boat ride, relaxing and enjoying the views. While Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett do spend some of their time taking luxurious holidays, they've also spent a lot of time traveling for charity work. Olsen told InStyle that she'd met Alana and Jen Tynan, founders of the charity The Latitude Project, when she traveled to Nicaragua in 2014. She explained, The Tynans were working with impoverished local communities that needed infrastructure support. Olsen immediately began volunteering for the charity, and in 2016, she went on her second trip with the Latitude Project. Once she met Arnett, she enlisted him in her charity work. The pair was featured installing water filters in a 2018 Instagram post by the Latitude Project. The foundation also congratulated Arnett on his band's new album. The post read, To be extremely musically talented is one thing, but match that with being a damn good human and you've got a winner. In an interview posted on Facebook, Olsen and Arnett spoke about their experiences. Arnett said, It was my first trip to Nicaragua, and it was something I'll never forget. In early 2018, about a year after their first meeting, Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett took a huge step and decided to move in together. Olsen gave some details about life with her boyfriend on The Late Late Show with James Corden. She explained that she and Arnett had moved into her house in Los Angeles a few months earlier, but the musician had decided to keep his old apartment and sublease it. 
After he moved in, they brought his old mattress into their new place for the guest bedroom. Corden even showed an adorable photo of Olsen posing on the mattress in the moving van. Actor David Tennant, who was also a guest on the show, joked, yeah. Now there's no going back. That's it. So hang on. Your boyfriend that moved in. That was my plan. <laughs> As Corden noted, the move signifies a big commitment in the relationship, but it's clear that Olsen is thrilled to have Arnett in her space. Moving in with a romantic partner is one thing, but getting engaged is a real sign of commitment. And in 2019, Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett took the next step in their relationship when he, as they say, put a ring on it. According to People, an unnamed source claimed that the couple got engaged in July of that year. But it's unknown how exactly Arnett popped the question, as he and Olsen are a pretty private pair. Shortly after word of the engagement was out, Olsen appeared in public with her brand new engagement ring. The first sighting of the ring came when she was grocery shopping in Los Angeles. It's unsurprisingly chic, understated, and totally gorgeous. The ring features a bright emerald stone surrounded by tiny diamonds. By all accounts, Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett are still going strong because they're constantly seen together. Photos of the couple out and about show how laid back they both seem to be, living the quintessential LA lifestyle. In August 2019, the pair was spotted visiting a local gym in Los Angeles wearing casual clothes. Then, in April 2020, Olsen and Arnett were seen again wearing face masks at a natural food market. On another occasion, they were out browsing the stalls at a farmer's market with coffees in hand. And on another day, the couple was spotted in casual clothes grabbing takeout. Like many other LA couples, Olsen and Arnett have also been seen hiking together in Hollywood Hills, according to the Daily Mail. Their life seems to be filled with plenty of wholesome, fresh foods, long hikes, and couples' workouts. Since Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett moved in together in 2018, it comes as no surprise that they spent their COVID-19 lockdown together. But for this couple, all the extra time in each other's company didn't seem to be a problem. Olsen told Parade at the time, I don't have kids. I have a responsibility to my family, and that's it. So it was a really lovely time to be okay with doing nothing. And the couple seems to have really gone back to basics during the pandemic. Olsen explained in an essay for The Hollywood Reporter that, Growing and harvesting my own produce was a lifelong dream. She went on to explain that they hired a landscaper who helped them make her dream a reality. But as the pandemic went on, Olsen found it difficult to keep up with her gardening hobby. She wrote, Looking back now on the past five months or so, my experience gardening has truly ebbed and flowed with my own emotional processing of the lockdown. She explained that the garden thrived when she felt productive and happy, but that it became overgrown and out of control when she felt down. And Arnett, of course, was there through it all. She said they would often spend afternoons sitting in the garden with friends. Olsen recalled, We would walk around picking and eating tomatoes, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, and bagging up lemons for the road. Even though Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett remodeled their yard in Los Angeles during the COVID-19 lockdown, the pair moved to the UK for quarantine. And by all accounts, the temporary move in 2020 was a huge success. The two apparently enjoyed their time across the pond so much that they started plotting a permanent move. Olsen explained on Jimmy Kimmel Live that when they made their way over in late 2020, the country was under pretty strict regulations due to the virus. As such, she and Arnett had a low-key New Year's Eve. She said, We set an alarm to make sure we didn't miss midnight. And, uh, <laughs> and I actually I put on a dress. It was really exciting. <laughs> Olsen also spoke about living in the UK on the podcast Table Manners with Jessie Ware. Describing Arnett as her man-guy partner, she explained that the two of them were living outside of London in the quaint village of Richmond in a cottage right by the water. By the sound of things, the experience was nothing short of idyllic. Olsen said, We're living out this British dream. She then explained that she'd worked in London years ago and had fallen in love with the city. She gushed, I have such an affinity for England already. Robbie and I both just feel so connected to England. Arnett apparently felt the same way. He had started writing, saying that it was not music like normal writing, and their cottage was the perfect home office to do so. 
The easygoing humor of the British people also helped make the country so appealing to the couple. Olsen added, Now we want to write a rom-com set in England because we don't want to leave. While Elizabeth Olsen doesn't mind mentioning Robbie Arnett in interviews, the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness star doesn't go out of her way to talk about her relationship. And it's pretty clear that she likes to keep her personal life as private as possible. Olsen explained to Harper's Bazaar that she's never been a fan of social media. When she did have an Instagram account, she never really felt comfortable with her more personal posts. She revealed, Every day, I think I should delete it. I find myself putting something private up there and I think, this is stupid. Why did I do that? I should delete it immediately." Olsen also told the New York Times, "...I just think about creating as healthy of a life as possible. I really do love my job, and I'm happy doing just that, and the charity I do, and being as private as possible." As for Arnett, he keeps things fairly private, just like his partner. His Twitter account is mainly filled with work-related tweets, and his Instagram has very few posts. Along with talking about a permanent move to England, Elizabeth Olsen and Robbie Arnett may also be thinking about starting a family. Olsen has previously opened up about her desire for kids one day, and now that Arnett is in the picture, starting a family may be a big part of their plans. In 2017, Olsen spoke to Modern Luxury about buying her first house. She revealed, "...there's this small room upstairs, which would be good for a kid." She clarified, saying, "...I don't know where things will lead, but I do think about it in that way. I think I could raise kids here. Sounds like a full house is definitely part of the couple's future plans." In June 2021, Elizabeth Olsen appeared on Variety's Actors on Actors with the flight attendant's Kaylee Cuoco. During the conversation between the two stars, Olsen revealed that she and Robbie Arnett were already married by referring to him as her husband. While discussing the decor in the bathroom where she was sitting, Olsen commented, I also just noticed that my husband put Little Miss Magic, you know, the Little Miss books. One week later, she and Arnett were spotted in New York City wearing what appeared to be wedding bands. According to Us Weekly, Olsen and Arnett actually tied the knot sometime in 2020. As of 2022, Arnett and Olsen are still going strong. In January 2022, the couple was spotted on yet another walk, once again sporting their wedding rings. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about celebrity couples are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.